Mr. Mailer, in directing uh, Isabella Rossellini, are you reminded, as so many people are, of, of her mother, Ingrid Bergman? Well, you have to be because uh, Isabella looks so much like her mother. She's got that same uh, loveliness and, and, and that dignity that Ingrid Bergman had. And uh, she's sort of, uh, she has marvelous fiber and, and quality. And, and uh, yes, you do think of it. She's also uh, quite a good actress, Isabella. And uh, I think uh, will be, will end up being compared not unfavorably to her mother. You've said that now you're 64 and that uh, directing this film, Tough Guys Don't Dance, gave you a lot of energy and that it was great fun. What, there was, what there was there about this particular project that uh, gave you that kind of energy? Well, I had to be learning something new every day, and not just one little thing, but five or ten new things each day. And uh, when I was constantly in movement, it, it made me think of the days when I was in the Army, and we never knew what the next day was going to bring. This, of course, was not disagreeable. War is, is never much fun, <laughs> except for a few people. But Well, there's a lot uh, of hurry up and wait in the Army. Is there a lot of hurry up and wait in filmmaking, too? I, yes, I think being at the other end of filmmaking is no fun at all. If you're a production assistant and you're outside on the street and holding people off or bringing the star up to act and have a, the star has to wait and gets mad at the production assistant, that, that, that's not much fun. And there's a lot of hurry up and wait, as I say, at the wrong end of things, just as there is in the Army. But if you're at the center of it, you never feel it that way. If there's a delay, that means that you're working harder than ever because something's going wrong and you're trying to rectify it. So you're always active uh, making a film and you're working very hard. You know, you work uh, 15 hours a day. We were, work we were on location, so we did that six days a week. Uh, those were 90-hour weeks, but it, it was marvelous. The, you, you, know, you had no life but your filmmaking, and uh, you never thought about yourself once. It was all concentrated on the work. You said, that most, excuse me, you said that most of the characters in your movie, um, in the average person's view, are fairly evil. But to you, they're not evil. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, I mean, they're evil is overt. They're out there doing terrible things. But <laughs> I'm fond of all the characters in Tough Guys. I mean, I think they're, they're sort of uh, strong and a little crazy and terribly funny to me. And... Uh, uh, you know, my idea of someone who's truly evil is that they're 60% evil and 40% good, and someone who's very good is 60% good and 40% <laughs> evil. It's just that a great many good and respectable people get, keep all the good up there on the surface of their personality, but institutionalized. So the evil goes into their dreams, and it goes into mean remarks toward the cat and the dog and what have you. But finally, uh, there isn't that much variation in people, with the exception of a few notables like uh, Hitler and Stalin, uh, most evil in people is, is in proportion to the good. So we've all got a little bit of both uh, in us at some time. Thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, we look forward to seeing the movie when it comes out. That was writer and now director and movie producer Norman Mailer talking about his movie Tough Guys Don't Dance. Ray, back to you.